Hello friends, I hope you are doing great. So today we are going to record the video on simulation of smart helmet. So there are various versions on our YouTube channel regarding smart helmet project. So this is the simulation. Basically, this is the simple simulation. Let me just show you uh, the types of smart helmet on our website. So if you will search uh, uh, smart helmet project circuits bazaar, so you will find lots of version like this is one version, second version, third version, fourth version, fifth version, sixth version, so there uh, seventh version. So there are loads of type of smart helmet video on our channel so students are requesting time and again uh, the simulation on proteus regarding this software uh, regarding this project smart helmet so uh, let me just uh, show you how you can work so you can choose any one of the model so basic structure is same like if i talk about this smart helmet so we have implemented this on a helmet over here we have used some uh, more modern feature like along with the accident alert we are using uh, some patrol uh, status on the uh, mobile app as well here if i talk about i have implemented this on the bike here if i talk about uh, in this model uh, the message will be sent to the family member as soon as accident will be detected so this is different board of arduino microcontroller in this project so in this project over here we are using uh, rfid reader and rfid tag uh, just to uh, show the license based feature in this project we have designed this project using uh, 8051 microcontroller so like these are some of the types so let's start implementing it on proteus so just to save your time i have taken all the necessary components like lcd microcontroller um, and all other components so let me just open any one of the project so if you will go to youtube then let's say i'm going to open this one so in this project so this is the main section which we are going to implement on proteus so over here you will find basically four section one is this one the microcontroller section uh, so this microcontroller section is basically at mega 328 so this at mega 328 microcontroller uh, you are taking out from the arduino board and here this is the rf receiver section so in this rf receiver section you are uh, receiving the signal from the rf transmitter this is uh, the buzzer section or audio visual indicator audio visual means there will be led as well as there will be buzzer so it will provide uh, the audio as well as visual indication then this is the ignition control relay so let me discuss one by one so first if i come to this circuit board so this is the main heart of the microcontroller uh, heart of the project which is uh, microcontroller which is basically arduino so in the proteus software if you will go uh, to the proteus software so this is the arduino board okay so here we are uh, showing directly the arduino board but what basically happened in the actual hardware <coughs> over here let me just increase the size so over here you can see that this microcontroller which is at mega 328 we have taken out this microcontroller after burning the code in this from arduino board and implemented that on this circuit so this is if i talk about in the circuit this is the power supply section uh, in this power supply section there is a bridge rectifier then this is the filter circuit these two capacitor acting as a filter circuit then this is 7805 voltage regulator um, then this is the lcd okay so this section is represented by in proteus using this microcontroller and this is the lcd now if i talk about the next section which is rf receiver so you can see that there are four led one two three four so this is the four bit data we are getting from this rf receiver so the, this data uh, you will receive because of rf transmitter because rf transmitter is transmitting four bit data so but in the proteus there is no need to show the rf transmitter we are using these four bit data in the proteus using these probes you can see these, these are, are the props. props so how you can take them it's very simple just type their name you can just uh, see from here as well so these are all the components i am using this uh, protease simulation uh, you can see the previous video of anti-sleep alarm project so there i have taken individual component one by one but here to just save the time i have taken all the components already okay now if you will go to uh, another section <coughs> Uh, this relay section so basically this relay section is driving a motor so motor is also working on 12 volt so this 12 volt motor working is represented uh, representing as a bike ignition system because bike ignition system is also working on 12 volt so these are the relay driver so these two transistors acting as a darlington pair and will act as a relay driver okay so this is the relay 
if you will go to the uh, pro uh, in this video you can see that this is the relay these are the two transistor acting as a darlington pair so there is a diode and there is a led as well and you will see this in the protease as well like this there is a led this is the led and this is uh, this uh, it's working along with the relay okay so this is the ignition control relay section now if i talk about uh, this one this was the four bit uh, rf transmitter so this four bit rf transmitter you can see we are using only two bit one is for the helmet press button the second one and the first one is alcohol pin okay so alcohol pin is active low means alcohol will be detected if it will be low and uh, helmet press button is active high means whenever it will be high so it means helmet press button is pressed so this is the four bit data which is representing as a rf transmitter now if i talk about this section as i already told you these two transistors are acting as a darlington pair and this is the relay section this is the motor section and you will find this in the protease as well like uh, sorry on this hardware this is the motor and this is the relay driver section now the fourth section is which one uh, this audio visual indicator section so in this audio visual indicator section there are two uh, transistor vc547 then one is this high uh, power 10 mm led and this is buzzer section so you will find this in the uh, protease as well now you can see this uh, you can find in the protease as well so as it is written over here audio visual indicator unit so uh, this is the buzzer so this is the buzzer and this is the led once uh, we will simulate it so buzzer may not work because uh, the working of protease uh, sound system depend on the uh, your uh, system software uh, like interface of this protease with the uh, sound software of this laptop so some most of the times they don't work so buzzer won't uh, work over here but you can just show the attach attachment of this buzzer in this circuit but you can see the signal over here what signal is coming and the led according to that signal will work okay so main all the sections we have covered so now it's time to simulate it so you just need to double click over here and you need to put the file so let me just try to simulate it so uh, there is no hex file so for that what we need to do we will open the arduino uh, software arduino id we will uh, compile the code over there and we'll take the hex file from that code so uh, this is the code uh, for the smart helmets this is simple smart helmet project there is no accident alert feature as well so in accident alert feature you have to use gsm so it's not uh, the working of gsm in the simulation software is not so much proper so that's why we are not going to implement the gsm feature uh, or you can say accident alert feature so we are going to implement the simple smart helmet project over here uh, now you can see the code c code is over here so first you need to go to the file then in the preferences check whether compile compile option is clicked or not so it is clicked already click ok now just try to compile it or you can say verify it after that after compilation or verification then you will uh, find the uh, that temporary file let me just show you you will find that in the c folder so after done compilation i am going to show that So compilation is happening so sometimes in some systems it's uh, take a lot of time otherwise in most of the other systems uh, it's just like that it's very simple okay now you can see done compilation so on the bottom uh, of this code somewhere you are going to find dot hex file okay so just let's you so this is the hex file dot hex file okay now you can see dot hex file so you just need to copy this path copy this path in the c folder okay quite smoothing now you can see that just copy it so one uh, okay copy and go to the protease software and, and double click over here and just paste this file this hex file okay this is temporary hex file so just paste it and click ok now play now you can see that you will get the message on the uh, lcd as well smart bike helmet okay now uh, you can see in this rf receiver section uh, it's active high helmet press button is active high 
and alcohol pin is active low so now everything is please put the helmet so to make it helmet press button so if you will click it then you will see alcohol detected why because it's active low so just click over here so in that case you have to wait for some time now you can see ignition is on so this motor is working which is just uh, showing the ignition is on so this is the relay section so this LED indicator is also representing this relay section whether it's on or off now to two of it just uh, click over here one then you will see no helmet on the LCD and after some time this uh, no helmet over here and you will see this LED is also off and this motor is also going to be off as soon as you will make it low then you will see this road from this point to this point will go over here and uh, the motor will again start working and the message on the LCD will be ignition on now you can see that this road this uh, moving road earlier was here but now connection made LED is glowing and on the LCD ignition on now let me just show you the alcohol sensor pin so if you click over here then you will see alcohol detected and after some time uh, this will be off and now you can see that this this uh, uh, beeping sound is over here so buzzer because as i already told you in protease buzzer don't work properly so now you can see that this led is off otherwise uh, you are getting on this audio visual indicator section one zero just let me again play it if you will click over here now you will see ignition on motor is uh, started working and uh, here it's one one means uh, one means uh, this LED and buzzer is not working because we are using Darlington pair so Darlington pair will be uh, will own the application when zero will be provided if you are going to provide it one then this Darlington uh, pair is not going to work now let me just show you if you will make the alcohol pin low then you will see a high low signal over here so this is low signal and high signal high low signal so you can see this uh, visual indicator which is 10 mm LED is blinking and the buzzer is also working with that because both of these are in the parallel so this is how your project is going to work now uh, this simulation file i'm going to attach in the uh, article on my circuits bazaar website.com like i have attached the article on uh, the previous project if you'll go to the uh, previous project now, now in the, the ID sleep, sleep alarm project you will go down you will find the simulation file over here you can download them as well okay if you want to download you can download the simulation file so uh, just by clicking over here you will be uh, redirected to the google drive from where you can download the simulation file okay so in the similar way on uh, the article smart helmet on the circuitsvisai.website.com in the bottom side you will find the icon to download the simulation file of this smart helmet project okay so this is all about this project thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video thank you Oh,